Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My brothers and sisters The Almighty says in the Quran وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا اِعْدِلُوا هُوَ أَقْرَبُ لِلتَّقْوَىٰ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Surah Al-Ma'idah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Do not let your dislike for a people lead you to be unjust meaning lead you to be unjust with them, unfair with them, say that which is not correct about them or do something that is not befitting their status. And Allah says, be just for indeed it is closer to the piety or, or it is better for you know your own piety. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, indeed he is the knower of everything. So, what I want to raise today is sometimes when we dislike someone, we tend to seize the opportunity of anything that we get to say something way beyond what they deserve just because we don't like them. So when you don't like them, you start accusing them of something bigger than what they've done. When you don't like them, sometimes you start saying really nasty things. When you don't like them, you don't give them the benefit of any doubt whatsoever because you don't like them. And this is a disease that the Almighty speaks about in the Quran and he warns us about it to say when you dislike someone, if you're a true believer, you must still be just. So you can say, look, I may not really like this person, but I promise you they're, they're very good at X, Y and Z or I have to give credit to them where it lies. Sometimes on, a, on the political front, you have opposition parties in some countries and I'm just giving you an example off the cuff where... Uh, I've seen with my eyes two types of, of opposition parties. One, those who, no matter what the ruling party does, they just disagree. They have something to say that is negative about whatever these guys do because we're opposition. And on the other hand, you get some of those who are much more mature. They know when these guys who are ruling right now are doing something right, we have to acknowledge, listen, we're opposition, but we acknowledge what you're doing is actually correct and it is good. That's from a political aspect, right? What would happen within communities, within families is exactly the same. Because you did not like the way someone did something, because you might dislike someone for a reason, sometimes you could be wrong. It could be stemming from jealousy or envy or hatred, uh, some feeling that we need to get rid of within ourselves. Sometimes it's stemming from us. But if you really dislike someone, don't be unjust, be fair, be balanced, give credit where it is due. And the same applies. I mean, I found people talk about me and, you know, we've spent years on end trying to bring people together, trying to help people understand that differences of opinion will definitely be uh, there forever and trying to make them uh, understand to respect each other with their differences. I mean, I've developed, I'm sure all of us have developed and learned over a period of time. We must make sure that we uh, respect all people, people of different faiths, different ideas, and not everyone's going to be the same. And then here comes some wise crack who probably doesn't know who you are, uh, is not even bothered to listen to the type of message you have. And what, what he or she would say is, oh, here is an evil person. They preach evil. They are bad. They are intolerant. They promote violence. They promote injustice. What a joke. I mean, where is the fear of the Almighty? Such people need a reminder to say when you dislike someone, maybe because of what they look or what they look like, which is not supposed to be the case, but it's a weakness within you. But still, if you dislike them because of that, don't be unjust as a result of that, because it will bother you. It will affect you actually in a very, very negative way. And it will cause a problem across the globe. It might start off with a little spark, but it can cause a major problem. And this is why we say, and I repeat it for the last time before I end, when you dislike someone, be just. If you can say the correct word about those whom you may not like, then you're a true believer and you're a good human being as well. So remember this, uh, don't let your dislike for someone lead you to be unjust, unfair, and to say things that are definitely unacceptable. Uh, may the Almighty help us and guide us all. I think it happens with a lot of us where people just look at us and make a decision that, okay, evil people. And so they have such bad ideas. And this is why we have another point. The Prophet ﷺ speaks about how important it is to have a good perception of someone when they do something. 
So if you see someone doing something, just try and think of the best possible reason why they could have been doing it. A lot of us are guilty of thinking of the worst things of someone else when we see them doing something. And that's not a sign of a good believer. A good Muslim is he or she who, when someone is doing something that appears negative, they give them the benefit of the doubt or they try and look at it from the most positive way possible. And inshallah, in that way, we would be able to love one another. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. And I wish, I hope to get back to you sometime later with a few more beautiful messages. In the meantime, remember, our message is always about goodness, togetherness, understanding, cooperation, respect of one another, tolerating one another. And like I say, respect is higher than tolerance. Uh, uh, fulfilling the rights of one another, acknowledging the differences of one another and tackling the hate and the dislike that we may be having within our hearts. Uh, may the Almighty grant us all ease. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.